welcome back. So today is actually the very last of the mystery boxes that I ordered. I had so many, but this is finally the last one. And I was waiting on the Morphe I Love Mysteries box. I ended up picking up the five piece eye collection surprise box. They did have two variations. This of course was the smaller one. It was, let's read it here, 35 bucks and it's supposed to have a $51 value. They say there's gonna be five different eye pieces within it. And one of the things that I thought was really interesting is that they put, and even some of you lucky babes will get a bonus surprise, AKA one of our internet breaking collabs and that obviously makes me think that in some different boxes they put maybe a James Charles artistry palette in it. I haven't seen anyone get it. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have seen anyone unbox it. It would be kind of cool to know if they actually ended up putting one in there. But they had that one and then they also had a larger box which you know this time around I just kind of wanted to dip my toes into the water see what they had. My really good friend here on YouTube Crystal K Beauty she did a really good video on the larger one so I would highly recommend going and check her out after this to see what the big box had inside of it. And these are the only ones that I have seen of all of the mystery boxes that are actually still available. I just double checked and they are still on Morphe's website. So kind of good to know all the other ones were like that day you had to get them or it was either sold out or they just took it off the website. So these are the only ones that I know that are actually still available. But yeah, so I'm excited to see what comes inside of this. Let's go ahead and check it out and get it into this. All right, so, okay, I can see all the items on top and looks like I didn't get that internet breaking collab palette. <laughs> I really wish I could see if someone actually got that one, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing I kind of see here is some lashes. So these are the Morphe brand lashes. They are in the shade, not shade, <laughs> style go on and fake it. I haven't tried any Morphe lashes before. I don't even know what they cost. Let's look this up. Oh, okay, so they're $12 lashes. Not bad. Oh wait, I think I might have been wrong on that one. It says go on and fake it on that side, but then the other side says luxurious and I couldn't find any lashes in the style go on and fake it. So maybe that's just their saying for the lashes. <laughs> I think I got that backwards. So I think the lashes are called luxurious and I found them here. I'll pop an image up on the screen of what they say the lashes will look like on. I was actually thinking they were gonna look a whole lot more dramatic than that because these things look full. Just look at those puppies. Look like you can fly away with those things. I mean, I do like my dramatic lashes, don't get me wrong. I wear some <laughs> a, little, a little bit extra side, but I mean, these just look very long. Does anyone else do this? They just plop them on top just to see how they look. Wow, do you guys see that? I mean, of course I'd have to adjust them, cut a little bit off form them to my eye, but holy moly, those things are long. And I thought the lashes I had on now were <laughs> long. Look at when I look up. I have a very small eye shape, so that's one thing to kind of keep in mind with me. My eyes are very small. So personally, I can't really wear that long of lashes or it does look a little bit on the ridiculous side. These may be just a little bit too long for me. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, I might still wear them. I might still try them on, but uh, just by the based on that little try on there, I think they're gonna be a little bit too long. But that was the first item. Let's move over now to the second. So it looks like we got some brushes here. Ooh. Oh, that's soft. First up for the brushes, we have the M531, the Pointed Pro Blender. This one has a value of eight bucks and it's just one of these really fluffy, large brushes to sweep some color all over the lid into the crease. It's a very large brush. Yeah, this will be one that I just use for that lightest transition color because again, <laughs> my small eye shape. <laughs> Otherwise it'll be too large for any other color. It'll just go like whew when it's all over the lid but it feels like a soft brush, a lot of give to it. Then we got one more brush here. Well, actually we have two more. Second up for the brushes, we got ourselves the M519, the Crease Blender. This one has a value of seven bucks. And again, soft brush, but this one's a little bit stiffer. It doesn't have as much fluff and as much give because it's more meant to uh, detail around. I like the themage of the brushes with the black matte handles. Yeah, I mean, so far, 
not a brush I wouldn't use. So let's go over now to the third item, fourth item, <laughs> fourth item in the box, another brush. What do we got here? Oh, this one has a weird smell. Oh, I think it's glue. There was some residue on there right up top here. And I think it's leftover glue from gluing something down because that's what the smell is. But third up for the brushes, we got ourselves the M428. This is the Deluxe Duo Fiber Shadow. This one has a value of five bucks. Again, same themage of the brush, matte black handle. This is supposed to be for like creams or liquids to stipple on in a smaller area, like under the eyes or putting primer onto the lid. Oh man, I need to set that brush down. Wow, that glue smell is strong. Holy moly. That was it for the brushes. Now we just have one more item. This box went by really quick. <laughs> so the last item, which is the biggest one, we got ourselves a palette. This is the 25B Bronzed Mocha. Let's take a look at it. The Artistry Palette is what they also say it's called. I thought the James Charles palette was called Artistry Palette. And now they're using Artistry like on all the palettes. Did they always do that? I don't remember, but it's got the plasticky packaging. Let me try to break into this. Oh, you can see my hands were sweaty. <laughs> Ignore that. Oh my gosh. Let me wipe that. Jesus. But here's what the palette looks like. You get 25 shades inside of it. It's got some mattes. It's got some shimmers. Oh, and you get a little name sheet here. I'm never a fan of these name sheets. I always toss them. You know, that's just me. I never keep them inside. <laughs> I always think it gets annoying just having it here. I'm just like, ugh, get away from me. I don't want you here. I wish they would just, you know, just write the names underneath. That's just, that's just my opinion on it. But looks like a classic neutral tone kind of palette, more on the everyday wearable style. I'm thinking I need to do some swatches with these guys. That way we can see them all out on my arm. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. First of these swatches, I went ahead and swatched out the first two rows. One is a shimmer. It's got a slight, slight shimmer to it. I wouldn't say it's like a full on shimmer. It's the one right down at the end here, the very last shade. It's got some flakes of uh, some glitter in there, but the rest are of a matte formula. Next two. Second set here, I got the third and the fourth row on. The third row is completed of all shimmers, and the fourth row has one shimmer and one that has a little bit of a shimmer, kind of like a sparkle in it. And then the last row. This one had only the one shimmer, and that was the first shade, Rest Our Mattes. So I feel like this palette is definitely one of those that's really good for a beginner into eyeshadow. Maybe they don't have a lot of palettes. This would be something that could be kind of intriguing to dip your toes into creating a little bit more with some color combos, but nothing too daring playing with colors, just like different variations of browns and neutrals and some moments with a little bit, a little bit of a plum down there. <laughs> Nothing too, too crazy. That's definitely what I think of when I see this. So, I mean, this could be like a fun Christmas gift for someone who's just dipping their toes into the makeup life to get them started. I'm definitely gonna keep this one and test it out because I haven't tried out Morphe shadows in a while. I have some old, old palettes. I have the, what is it, 35M and 35S. Did I get that right? I'll have to double check. I have those two palettes and I bought that like several, several Christmases ago. Like it must be two going on three Christmases ago. And then aside from that, the only other one I've tried is the James Charles Artistry palette, which I'm wondering, you know, if the formula is different from that one since that was a collab palette to their like regular formula, you know, just to see if things have been improved since then. Cause that's kind of crazy. I haven't <laughs> bought a straight up Morphe palette since those ones. That was the last item, the last of the five. Um, looking it up here, this palette was actually already on sale. They're selling it right now for 12 bucks. It was previously supposed to be 19, but I mean, it's already being sold for 12. So I just did a quick little calculation here. I added up my three brushes, the lashes and the eyeshadow. And I mean, full retail value, if the you know palette wasn't on sale, it does come up to the $51 as it claims. Let me raise up my brightness there. There we go. 
so you can see it. But if you take away that seven bucks that the palette is technically on sale for right now, you get a value of $44 if you were to buy it in store. When you think of it like that, then you could kind of go in there and pick and choose kind of what you wanted out of the box. So I'm like, eh, had I bought this in stores, I would have gotten rid of the lashes. And then I would have only spent 32 bucks instead of 35. Yeah, I don't know. I I gotta be honest with you guys. Out of all the mystery boxes that I have unboxed this week, I feel like this one was my least favorite. Being totally honest, I definitely want to hear what you guys thought. If you've seen my other mystery box unboxings, which one was your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. Did you like the Lunar Beauty one? Did you like any of the three variations of the Jeffree Star mystery boxes? Or did you like this Morphe one? I have had five different boxes. Oh gosh. Told you guys my bank account was hurting this month or this past month. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts were down below in the comment section. I still really hope that you guys enjoyed me doing this unboxing. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!